Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the type 2 problems based on the chapter of the groundwater. So let's start. The problem says that a well penetrates into an unconfined aquifer having a saturated depth of 100 meters. The discharge rate that is being given to us as 250 liters per minute at 12 meters drawdown. Assuming the equilibrium flow conditions and a homogeneous aquifer, we have to estimate the discharge at 18 meters drawdown. The distance from the well where the drawdown influences are not appreciable may be taken to be equal for both the cases. So, here the drawdown influences are not appreciable. That means if this is the pumping well, so this is the cone of depression. This entire is known as the radius of influence and this entire zone is known as the zone of influence. So, if we are talking about the end, that is where the influence is not appreciable, that means we are talking about the Dupitt's theory. So, here we will be using the equations given by the Dupitt's. Now, for the first condition, the drawdown is given as 12 meters and for the second condition, it is given at 18 meters. So, first of all, we will write down the data that is given to us. So, the given data that is the depth of the well that is given by small d that is 100 meters. Corresponding to the first condition, the drawdown is 12 meters and corresponding to second condition, the drawdown is 18 meters. For the first one, the discharge is given to us as 250 liters per minute and corresponding to the second condition, the discharge is to be estimated. Now, Dupit's equation. Now, Dupit's equation for the unconfined aquifer has to be used. So, that equation is given for the discharge rate that is, is equal to pi into k where k is the coefficient of permeability d square minus h w square where h w is the height of the well after the drawdown then 2.303 log base 10 upon log base 10 of r upon r w capital R is the radius of influence and RW is the radius of the well. Now one by one for the two conditions we will use this same equation. So for the first case for case 1 when the drawdown is 12 meter and the discharge is 250 liters per minute. Now if this S1 is 12 meter, so this HW1 that will be is equal to total depth minus the drawdown as we have already seen if this is the observation well and this is the zone of influence. So this is represented as drawdown and this remaining volume, this remaining depth is given as height of the well. 
so that will be 100 minus 12 that is is equal to 88 meters therefore placing all the values in the given equation that is 250 liters per minute that is the value of the q is equal to pi into k into h2 square now going back to the problem one more time so if you look at closely here this is the point where the influence of the drawdown is not appreciable so at this condition this h will be is equal to d that means the entire depth will be equal to h so placing the value in the equation that is d square because that is the total height minus h w square that will be 88 square divided by 2.303 log base 10 now r upon r w now that will remain the same for both the cases because only the drawdown height that is varying and corresponding to that the discharge will be varying but the radius of the influence zone and the radius of the well that will remain the same so from here we will try to calculate the values of these constants so from here if we look at this so taking the constants on one side this will be pi into k divided by this is 2.303 log base 10 r upon r w now that will be equal to 250 liters per minute divided by this will be 100 square minus 88 square now this is the values of the constant that we have obtained now to solve it further we will open the bracket that is a plus b into a minus b so 100 plus 88 that is 188 into a minus b that is 100 minus 88 that is 12 so that is the let's say first equation that we have got from the first case corresponding to the next case for case 2 we are having the drawdown that is given as s2 as 18 meter now if we are getting the drawdown as 18 meter so this is the drawdown value so the total height of the well that will be equal to d minus s therefore the height of the well for the second case will be equal to d minus s2 and that is is equal to 100 minus 18 that is is equal to 82 meters now this time we do not know about the discharge so this q2 will be equal to pi into k into d square minus h w2 square divided by 2.303 log base 10 r upon r w now from the first equation we already know the value of this constant and that has been obtained as is equal to 250 divided by 188 into 12 now from equation number 1 now corresponding to this the rest of the values are to be placed so d value is 100 so that will be 100 square minus hw is 82 so it's a square so from here the value of q2 will be equal to 250 into this will be again a square minus b square 
so we will open the bracket as a plus b into a minus b so 100 plus 82 that is 182 into 100 minus 82 that is 18 divided by 188 into 12 from here if we sort it out further if we calculate the value that comes out to be if we calculate the value that comes out to be 363 liters per minute because we haven't changed the units so we will obtain the value corresponding to this 250 value which was taken in liters per minute so that is the value of the discharge for the second case so that completes the type 2 of the problem that was based upon the dupit theory now in the next video we will solve the type 3 of the problem from the chapter of the groundwater thank you